Shankpa Kagyu. When I think Kala Rinpoche, I often think Shankpa Kagyu. Can you talk a little bit about? Yeah, sure. That? I mean, I'm in the, I'm in the. I guess I've always been in the midst of it, but right now I'm translating, you know, a lot of Shankpa material. Oh, what to say about the Shankpa lineage? Um, well, it goes really, you know, the official kind of founders, Kyungpo Naljur, Kyungpo Naljur, who went to India and met like 150 or so great gurus. And some of them were more important than others. Uh, and especially people uh, cite the Naguma and Sukha City, the two Dakinis that were his teachers. Those are the most kind of the, the, the beginning of the Shangpa lineage. Kala Rinpoche used to say, since it started with women, it will end with women. Okay. I, don't, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but, um, and you know, Chungbo Nadja specifically went and asked, I want to meet somebody who's actually seen the Buddha, meaning like the Vajradhara or something. And so he found Naguma, especially Naguma. So, Naguma is, those are the like source texts, mainly, not, hun there's other ones, uh, actually, you know, some of the source texts are Atisha and Garupa as well as Naguma and Suga City has sort of a sl slightly separate thing. So the lineage, so then Chumpo Naljo came back and, you know, uh, for seven generations, according to Naguma's command it wasn't spread at all except in a one-to-one -one lineage for seven uh well seven generations starting with number one Bajadara. so it was actually more like four generations from chumwanaldra but and then after that it spread widely and it's it's its own lineage it's totally separate and that's the one confusion that most people have because of the word kargyu Yes. You know, because it's called Shangpa Kargyu, um, but Kargyu is, just means lineage of precepts, lineage of Buddha word. So Shangpa Kargyu has its own roots back to an Indian soul. Its own roots okay. back to all the way. And, and then people, you know, it's confusing because there's similar practices. And then all the research I've done, it seems that Naguma was the older sister of N Naropa. Okay, so this is interesting. So we're talking, yeah. let's place this in history, we're talking 12th century, right? Uh, yeah, 12th, 12th century, century Kashmir, which Kashmir. is an important, very important part because of what was going on in Kashmir at the time. Okay. But uh, so we've got yeah. this Tibetan teacher, Kyumpo Nyaljo, and he's studied, I, I guess he studied in the Tibet, like born in Nyingma tradition, I think yeah. I would say. And then he decides that no, he wants an Indian teacher, and he goes to India, and he he studies with like a did you say 150 teachers? They say 150. You know, I haven't seen a list of 150, <laughs> but and there's some very important ones: Maitreya, Rahula. You know, people you've heard of. You know, Vajrasana from from Borgaya, uh, You know. And when we say India here, you're, you're um, pointing out that we're actually talking Kashmir, right, specifically? No, well, mm -hmm. not his trips, um, okay. but in terms of where Naguma and Naropa don't yes. believe, uh, you know, Gunter, it's not Bengal, he was not Bengali. <laughs> ah. And um, they seem to have come from Kashmir, but then Chumpo Naja, I don't know if he went. I think he was more in the sort of, uh, you know, Bihar region, Magadha and all that kind of thing. So he studies with like 150 teachers there, but really the stars of the show are Niguma and Suga City. And, they, yeah. and especially Niguma's teachings is what he brings back. Is, is, that, is that accurate? That's right. And Everything written down, he wrote down. She yeah. didn't, apparently. But. And of course, we know like Naropa's Narocha drew these like six dharmas of Naropa, but there's also Naguma had her six yogas. Her right? six yogas, and Sukha City had hers as well. Okay, wow. So Which, both we those... did all all of them, all three of them in the three year retreat. All three sets of six dharmas. Wow. Yeah. And so was, was that the main? part of the retreat or was that just uh part of was that some no, it was just, just part of it wow it's part of it yeah okay so in shankpa kagyu then the, these six um dharmas or six yogas whatever you want to call them 
um, both sets are, are part of it. Is that that's what he brought back, and and amongst other teachings like Mahamudra teachings, I imagine, and all, and that these set of teachings that he brings back form part form this new lineage that has a direct link back to India. Is that is that right? Yeah, that's right. He, um, you know, there's a lot of different teachings, but it's usually uh, kind of condensed into what are called the five golden dharmas, the five golden. I say, the reason I don't use yogas for six yogas is because it's very confusing, you know, with the Kala Chakra system, yes. which is a different word, Jor, Jor Druk is Kala Chakra system. And this is Chudruk, which is six dharmas or six doctrines. So it's important not to confuse those even though you can say they're yogic practices, most of them. But the six, the five golden dharmas of the Shankpa, one of them, the first one is the six dharmas of Neguma. Okay, yes. so these are the five golden dharmas. And, and so there's something called, for each of them, for all of the five golden dharmas, there's these Vajra lines. You're probably familiar with that, or Vajra verses, because other... Other uh, schools have Vajra verses, such as like the Sakya school with the Varupas, you know, Lamdre Vajra verses and so on. And so those are really the source and they're recorded by Chumpunaldra from what Neguma said. And, and then on his way back from India, he stops by Tolan Monastery and verifies them with Atisha which is interesting, like I don't know why Atisha had those texts. But anyway, he verified, they, they compare their texts so that they're really authenticated and then they're translated. Uh, so Atisha is in Tibet at this time? Atisha was at Toling, yeah, Toling oh. Gompa. Wow. In, in Guge, yeah. Oh, how amazing, and so there's a record of this meeting. Yeah, in several places. Amazing. Yeah, it's interesting, and then uh, it's translated Oh, by Rinchen Sanko, you know, the famous translator Rinchen Sanko, and uh, Len Dharma and Chungpo Nalja himself. But Amazing. Isn't that and interesting? Very yeah. interesting. It's just that, that this re record of these masters meeting and they're saying, yeah, I've got that text and let's yeah. <laughs> share these bad reverses. My gosh. Amazing. Yeah, and, there's and this mysterious the, thing where Chungpo Nalja uses the word for rot like his his text was rotting uh, well you know if you come from india if you've been to places like darjeeling or something you know you know why is everything turns to mold yeah and he's so traveling maybe, their way as well right <laughs> yeah so maybe that's what happened but but no atisha said no it's the same as mine so it's okay so we can go ahead and translate it 